Okay, now that we've finished sanitizing all the parts of the sudden removal system, the next thing you need to do is to reassemble it all together before you can put it back um, to the bottom of the unit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the two stainless steel end caps out of the sanitizing solution and I'm going to place it on a clean work surface. Uh, it doesn't matter which of the two you grab, you can start with either one. Now from now on, I'm going to try to work with all the parts as I bring them out of the sanitizing solution one at a time and start building my assembly up from there, trying to keep as much as possible the need to um, um, re-sanitize and avoid contamination from scratch. Now any surfaces like the bottom of this uh, end cap that is touching my work surface, I can always go back with a bottle of sanitizing solution and a spray bottle and re-sanitize everything as I go. So okay, we have the end cap down. The next thing we will do is we will take one of the ball seats with a groove for the gasket, as well as one of the gaskets. We're going to place the gasket inside that groove, and then we're gonna push that inside the end cap of the ball. Being careful not to squeeze the gasket as it falls out. Okay, and now it's in place. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look for the piston and for the two smaller gaskets that ride onto the grooves onto the piston. So taking one gasket at a time, I'm going to carefully place it inside its groove and stretch it around. Repeat the process with a second groove. Okay, so the piston is now assembled with its gaskets. Next thing is we take the clear uh, spherical assembly and we put the piston in and with our thumbs, we push it in approximately halfway through. All right, with the piston now seated approximately halfway through, the next step in the process is to take one of the gaskets Place it inside the groove that's here. The next thing is to grab one of the ball seats and press that on top of the gasket and into place. Okay, we repeat the process on the other side. Gasket in the groove first white ball seat on top of it, pressed into place. and then we keep the gasket going around the equator of the sphere, if you will, and we drop it down into the bottom half of the assembly, like this, press it into place, making sure that the gasket also rides inside the provided groove. Okay, with this now done, we're almost home. The next thing we need to do is grab the last gasket and the last white ball seat, put the gasket inside the groove, Take the other half of the assembly, the other end cap, and press that home using our thumbs. Okay, there it is, and it's in place. So now the next thing we do is we turn that upside down, we go into here, and reassemble. There will be a space between the two halves, that's normal at this point. That will disappear as we're seating the screws. Okay. We go back to the four screws we had and we drive the opposite of what we did in disassembly. We're going to drive two screws on this side. We're going to 
Then turn it over and drive the other two screws on the other side. So with the last two screws in place, we are now taking our wrench and going around all four screws on both sides one more time and tighten things down, you know, quite snug, but do not force it. You'll see the two halves come together quite easily. And we have those snug and we are done. As I mentioned before, now we can take our sanitizing solution in the spray bottle and then go around the parts on the outside that we may have touched on the work surface as we're doing the reassembly and re-sanitize those. So the last thing we need to do now is take the purge tank, complete that assembly, and then go attach to the bottom of the Vessi fermenter and dispenser.